So we uh, are with our second segment with uh, Professor Medvinsky on Christian Zionism. What is the uh, role that Christian Zionism has played in American politics? First of all, this role is a role that uh, uh, is a role that's been there or has come about uh, within, let us say, the last quarter of a century at the most, the last quarter of a century. We had Christian Zionism, we had Christian Zionist congregations before that, but for the most part, with some exceptions, uh, these congregations were not politically active. Uh, in the last 25 years, especially in the last 15 to 20 years, uh, these congregations, uh, uh, led by uh, the, uh, the ministers, who were the leaders, many of them, uh, these congregations have become increasingly active. So by today, and this has been the case for at least a decade, I would say that the lobby that they have created, it's clearly a lobby. The political they, lobby. The political lobby. Uh, they refer to it as a lobby, and a political lobby, and others refer to it as a political lobby. The uh, evidence is clear. That political lobby, I would say, is one of the, if not the single most influential lobby of all lobbies on all issues, of which we of course have hundreds uh, in the United States in Washington. Uh, I'm going to argue in my book, I think I can document this, that this lobby, in terms of its influence upon the U.S. government and its influence upon U.S. foreign policy, for the last decade to 15 years, this lobby has been at least as influential, if not more influential, than the famous or infamous, however you view it, Israel lobby, which is made up mostly of Jews. What's their agenda? Well, their agenda is to keep the United States government committed to full and total, I call it blind, support for the state of Israel. That means support in three areas. It means economic support, which of course has been there, um, uh, a huge amount of economic support. <laughs> it means political support, which has also been, been there uh, uh, in the United Nations and around the world. And it means uh, military support. That is uh, the providing of military weaponry uh, to the Israeli government. Uh, the uh, Israel is now estimated by the most authoritative sources. The most authoritative source is Jane's Fighting Ships, that publication published in England. Israel is estimated now, it's amazing, as the third or fourth most powerful nation in the world militarily in terms of traditional weapons and with nuclear weapons it's at least that um, high on the list, uh, even though there is uh, nowhere near an exact measurement of the Israeli supply of nuclear weapons uh, and or the status of Israeli research in that field. Does Israel have a stake in this lobby? Israel has how does it work with this lobby? Israel, it has, Israel has a very big stake. I can tell you that in doing my research, uh, I've spoken to members of the Israeli government and to others, and uh, uh, without exception, um, their comment is that um, we, of course, don't accept their theology about the end time. We think that's nonsense. But on the other hand, we not only accept because we need to be Machiavellian about this, that's the term they use, but we encourage their support. We need it. And why do they say we, uh, Israel, Israelis need it? We need it because we need to have the United States remain behind us fully and totally, and that is their major concern, and this lobby, they understand, helps them do that. Now, for the last 15 years, every Israeli prime minister that has been in office for the last 15 years has said openly 
to uh, one of the Christian Zionist conventions that they have in Jerusalem every year, mm -hmm. has said to them, you are <laughs> our most important friend. And when those prime ministers have said it, they've meant it. That's just not a political statement. They've meant it because they understand how important this lobby has been and remains in Washington, D.C., and actually then throughout the United States in terms of public opinion behind uh, congressional action. So they've actually supported major conventions in Israel, and I understand also uh, been pretty effective in supporting tours to Israel oh, they by have. Christian Zionists. Oh, yes. The, it's been part of the cultivation. It's, uh, oh. Yes. I mean, as we know, the Israeli government is very good. They're very efficient about, as you put it, planning tours and organizing yeah. tours for um, uh, various groups in the United States. Right. But especially for these Christian Zionists, because the Christian Zionists are so important to them. Mm -hmm. In our third segment, I want to explore with you uh, some of the implications of this for the Palestinians for the Jewish community in the long run, and of course, its implications within the Christian world as well and in America. So perhaps in our third segment we can, we can do that.